the amazing Elizabeth takes down a finance officer. Hello, I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy. Today we have a royal treat for you. Something many of you have been asking for since the amazing Elizabeth first began showing up on camera here on the Homework Guy show. Elizabeth is taking on a finance officer today. And yes, he is a real officer. He is going to have his hands full, as you'll see here in just a moment. A little background first, Elizabeth has been shopping for another truck. It's basically for herself, so having a truck big enough to carry several other passengers really wasn't a need for her. And in a market where vehicle prices are high, she's very practical and more than happy to buy a vehicle that others might find less interesting. With vehicle prices being as high as they are right now, Elizabeth has decided to go used. She just can't see spending the kind of money they want for new vehicles these days. She has landed on a 2021 Ford XLT four-wheel drive truck. It's a regular cab, so it's in the lower demand category than other trucks, and she has found a great price on it. It's a clean California truck with just 14,700 miles on it, selling for 31,950. For those of you who know a little bit about trucks, you know that is a great value. She booked the vehicle out on Black Book and determined this to be a great buy. Getting through price negotiations with the salesman was pretty easy. As they always do, her salesman Sam has told Elizabeth that she's going to be in some great hands with their finance officer, Joe Mandon. This took place yesterday. Now, I've asked our editors to use the chalkboard to capture important notes for you to remember. You may want to come back and watch this a second time with a notebook just so you can take notes. Hello, Elizabeth. I'm Joe Mandan. I've heard reports about you from Sam. Oh, that yeah. Was... You guys talk. Well, Sam was pleasant to work with. So let's talk about the uh, F-150 and protecting your investment. Joe, before we start with that, could I get a copy of your business card, please? Sure. Yep. I've got one right here. There you go. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, certainly. So the F-150 is a great truck, isn't it? Yeah, actually it is. I've been driving one for many years. Um, and thank you for this card. I just like to have the full legal name of anyone I discuss my finances with. Okay. So let's talk about protecting your investment now. Oh, Joe, no offense, but I do know what an investment is. Investments make me money, not take money away from me. And a rapidly depreciating asset like a vehicle does not meet my definition of an investment. I'm sitting here today considering this purchase because I've always made good investments and I came here totally prepared to protect my good investments. Sure. Well, let's start with what most of my customers go with. I think we both know I'm far from being anything like most of your customers. Um, Joe, I called your dealership before coming here today to verify that I can give you a check for a down payment. That's correct, we do. Okay, well good. I did some math and considering that the vehicle is $31,950 and sales tax being 5% here in North Dakota and adding in about two hundred dollars for license and title and transfer costs, the total is around thirty-three-seven. dollars I'll write you a check right now for $17,000 and that's a little more than 50%. Well, that, that eliminates any need for gap insurance. Oh, it sure does. But even if I did need it, I wouldn't buy it here, even if I did. No. Yeah, everyone knows dealers like to charge $1,000 for Gap. If I ever need it, I'll just get it from my credit union. Well. Uh, and don't waste my time with the product presentations about protecting my investment. I think we both know I'm not, I'm not that type of customer. After all, the entire reason I had the truck over at Dwayne's Repair Shop is so I knew that it passed the inspection. Mark said it was perfect, and so I'm happy with that. So that's great. Uh, how would you like to handle the balance? You want me to quote you some finance terms? Well, let's make sure we have that balance right um, down to the last penny so we got it nailed down. Okay, so the sale price of $31,950, right? Yes. And you know we discounted the truck a lot. Joe, that's just right where the market is right now. No discount, no sale. So that's $31,950 with 5% sales tax. That adds $1,597.50. Okay, that is... Thirty-three thousand five forty-seven fifty. Then we have about two hundred and fifty in title fees and transfer fees. Well, I don't want an estimate. I want the exact number. Um, I'm pretty sure you have it right there on your computer screen for me. Okay. Okay. So the title transfer and license is going to be one hundred seventy-five dollars and twenty-four cents. All right. That's more like it. I just saved myself seventy-five dollars. Okay. By my calculations, the total is thirty-three thousand seven twenty-two seventy-four. I already wrote you the check for seventeen thousand, so that leaves sixteen thousand seven twenty-two seventy-four. Well, hold on, there's a dealer fee too. Dealer fees? Yes. The document fee is one hundred and seventy-five dollars. Everybody pays that. No, not everyone. For the last fourteen years, 
Everyone has paid it. If I audited your books, I can guarantee you I could find someone who didn't pay it. There's also a dealer fee of $500. Everybody pays that too. Well, anything else? Uh, see, the truck is VIN etched. That's $295. No, there's no way I'm paying for VIN etching. It's already on the truck. Joe, I know all about VIN etching junk that dealers try to peddle. So I took a picture of the windows when I took the truck to my mechanic, and there's nothing etched on my windows. Nothing. Well, then the guys must have forgotten. Okay, so you're telling me you have a dealer fee of 500 and a document fee of 175 Yes, everyone pays it. It's non-negotiable, non-optional. You're saying it's mandatory? Yes. Uh, could you put I that have. in writing for me? I suppose. There you go. And, all right. Are you familiar with the FTC, Joe? They just put out a new set of rules, and I could read some of them to you if you want me to. No, there's no need. I've read them. They aren't implemented yet. Oh, really? If you read them, you know and I know that these rules are nothing more than the clarification of the laws that are already in the books, for which the FTC has fined dealers tens of millions of dollars for violations identical to what you're doing here. How about this one? FTC takes action against multi-state auto dealer Napleton for sneaking illegal junk fees onto bills. That's $10 million in fines, Joe, and $9.8 million of it went back to repay the cheated customers. So just tell me one more time that these fees can't be removed, and I'll personally name you Mr. Joe Mandan, and I'll send a picture of this document with your business card, and I'll send a picture with my FTC complaint. Reportfraud.ftc.gov. It's right here on the top of the fake fees published by the homework guy. You know what? Uh, I'm done. Okay, it's just me and you, Joe. No member of your management staff wants anything to do with this conversation, or I'll have to name them on the complaint, too. This is all your problem now, Joe. So what do you want me to do? Well, just confirm the total I gave you earlier minus those fees. So that's $33,722.24. Minus, said that was a $17,000 down payment. Yep. It comes out to $16,722.24. All right. See how easy that is? So, no loan? No, Joe, you tired me out. I just don't have any more time to waste. <clears throat> you going to sign that uh, contract now for me? I suppose. $17,000, balance paid in full. All right, thank you. Nice doing Certainly. business with you, Joe. I wish I could say the same. <laughs> well, they don't call me the Amazing Elizabeth for nothing. The who? There, how'd you like that? I want to say a special thanks to Joe, our finance officer, who did, I think, a good job given the challenge he was up against. Not every customer will do like Liz did and walk into his office with a printout of the FTC rules in hand and a printed copy of a lawsuit the FTC recently brought against an offending dealer group. Did you like how Elizabeth handled his comment that he had read the FTC rules and that they weren't implemented yet? She took a picture of the document she made him sign and then took his picture to add to the complaint she threatened to file. He didn't like that very much. Did you notice how the wind went out of his argument and soon after he says, I'm done. That is precisely what a finance man will do in your case if you handle it like this. Have the calculator app open on your smartphone and be ready to do the math on the deal just like Liz did. Demand exact numbers on the state fees, not approximates. In the end, she didn't have to say, I'm paying cash. She had already written a check for 17000 and then wrote a check for the balance. Joe didn't even get a chance to quote a loan. Some of you might ask if it's okay to accept a loan offer in finance to make it easier and then just pay it off the next day. And yes, you can do that. In this case, Liz had the reins of the deal and just paid the total amount before Joe realized he had lost the chance to get a loan out of her. If you notice, it was no longer him asking questions at the end. He was no longer in control. He was the one taking directions. 
The FTC outline that Liz used in this car deal is available for free on our website. You can print it off and highlight it just like Liz did. I encourage you to read it beforehand. The articles which show FTC legal case history also are available as a free download on our website, and we recommend you print those off too. They contain the report fraud link for your convenience. The more ammunition you have with you, the easier your time in finance will be. Your finance man will cave in just like Joe did. If you'd like to show some gratitude for producing great videos like this one, the links for tips appearing on the screen will be easy to find in that description box down below. PayPal, Cash App, and of course Venmo. Our tip system was suggested to us by our viewing audience. Generous people asked for a way to donate to support our mission, and then other viewers requested that we also get Cash App and Venmo because they are popular forms of payment. Voluntary tips are awesome because they provide a great indicator to tell us how much you appreciate what we do. And apparently you guys love us a lot, just like we love you. And you may have noticed that we've been busy converting your tips into more free services for our viewers. If a tip isn't an option for you, no problem at all. Just show your thanks by subscribing and recommending our videos to your family and friends. I also want to remind our viewers about our very generous offer for free car buying assistance. Any viewer who has contacted us would tell you that you don't have to blow your hard earned cash on a paid car club membership. Just send us a text to 701-441-3399. It's on the screen now. And send your name and we'll be happy to be in touch with you. By the way, we are glad to get you well prepared ahead of time, so feel free to contact us at any time. All right, if you're new here at the Homework Guy channel, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. We thank you for subscribing and welcome to our family. Thanks everyone for coming back and to all of our faithful subscribers out there. You guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off for the day. Once again, we're still earning your trust. See you next time. We gotta go.